Once you've signed up with a Windows Asia account and a subscription, there are a couple of different ways by which you can access those features. If you're using local applications such as uh, Visual Studio or SQL Server Management Studio, then those applications do have built-in mechanisms to connect to your Azure-based services. But if you want centralized access to everything to do with your subscription, then a great way to go is actually through the Windows Azure portal. And we can access that just online. So we're just going to open up our browser and have a look at that. So we just need to go to windowsazure.com. There's our address right there and once you get to your page you just have to click on the portal right there so you do have to have a, your account already set up so again we need to log in with our existing credentials enter our password So what you'll find here is just, again, centralized access to all things to do with your subscription. And it's a great way to just configure everything that is required. So what you'll see when you log in for the very first time, it actually will pop up with a quick tutorial, only about 20 or 30 seconds, just shows you the navigation options for the page. But what you see here is we've got all kinds of options for websites, virtual machines, mobile service, cloud services, databases, so on and so on. And you see that there's quite a few of them. Now, this is dependent on what you have added in your subscription, but you've got all of these options where you know, I can just start configuring virtual machines, for example. Now, nothing has been created, obviously, in ours, but we can just go in here and just click on these options to get started. There's also an option down below here you see to click New. And it just breaks it down a little bit differently uh, by category. So I can just start with compute, go to virtual machine, for example. Options that you'll see here include uh, the quick create, wherein you can just go in and plug in some values. You can customize it after the fact, of course, but some of the necessary options are here. Simply click create virtual machine. That system is up in pretty much in, in no time. Data services, similarly, we've got options to create databases, storage solutions, uh, recovery services, whatever that might be, uh, app services. Again, you just go through the options here, choosing whatever it is that you need for your particular requirements. And again, we can just go back to our all items to see everything here. Down at the bottom, what you have are, are just some notifications. So right here, for example, you see if there's any warnings or errors uh, they'll pop up down here. Now, this is just related to our subscription, but we can just dismiss that. Any other notifications will pop up down here. Your credit status will show you the current state of your subscription, where you are in that. And then, of course, finally over here, we've got options for your own account, where you can sign up, change your password, view your bill, things like that. So you can certainly keep an eye on where you are in terms of usage. So again, everything is centralized, everything's easily accessible, and you can get started with all of these options very quickly, very easily through your portal option. Also got home do pricing documentation and downloads available as well here, but the whole idea is you can simply gain access to all of the components of your subscription, configure whatever services you need, and then they can again be accessed through local applications if necessary, but the portal is a great place to get started.